Paul, many congratulations. The, the run goes on. That was quite the late show tonight. Yeah, for goals, I thought our overall performance weren't bad. In like, I don't know what it looks like. We can see what it looks like. The pitch was wow, something else, and that's no excuse. I don't think we could play as well as we possibly wanted. It was sort of an end-to-end game, um, and Port Vale are a really hard team to you know play against. They took three points off uh, our debut game, so to speak. So we knew it was going to be a tough game, and we had to match their you know effort and. For large periods we did, although you know, disappointed with the goal we conceded, we lost first contact, which is hugely frustrating. But apart from that, I thought we were really good. And I, even if we'd have lost, I wouldn't have had any complaints with the lads. They did everything we asked them to do. We just, you know, we just couldn't get the goal we wanted, really. So the fact that we got two goals so uh, quickly uh, at the end, where our fans were, was something else. And it takes everyone. You know, I took, you know, took some superstars off the pitch today, and put the young ones on and they, they came good for us so you know I've said it all the time if you're going to be successful it's not just the first 11 it's the whole 18 uh, and I know we have a small squad but they're close and yeah love them guys they've done brilliant tonight and it was like one of their moments where you know Nat scored late on down that end it was just wow breathtaking so really pleasing What does it say about the character and the mentality to, to win the game when it looked like it was just not going to be your night with the, the amount of chances that you had that went begging yeah, well, they just keep going. I mean, you could probably see us on the side of the pitch. We weren't going crazy because there wasn't a lot wrong, really. We just didn't, you know, just didn't take the opportunities we had um, and just kept, yeah, and they just kept going and they just got a real belief and a real togetherness, which is worth a lot, um, you know, and to get the two goals, I, mean, I just I still can't get over it, really. It's just beyond, uh, beyond Disney, really. It just felt a little bit like that. But I don't think it was, you know, I don't think anyone could leave the ground and think we didn't deserve to win. I thought, you know, our we created enough chances however we could have conceded another couple ourselves so no, I'm not saying everything's perfect but as an, a night of entertainment it don't get a lot better Word for Lewis Dobbin he had a great chance to equalise it didn't happen for him but he certainly played his part with two assists Yeah well the ball that uh, Foz uh, put in for Dobbs when he's in I was thinking oh, here we go and when that doesn't go in you start thinking like it might just be one of them nights you know and I can't have too many complaints if we Lost a football game if we give everything, and sometimes it just doesn't go your way. And tonight, it just you know, I just didn't see. I, I always thought we'd get a chance, um, but to turn a you know a one nil defeat into a two one win is um, really enjoyable. And you know, I understand it. I understand what we, we are when we travel away, and the opposition take ages taking everything. You got you get frustrated, but you just got to try and keep calm heads. And you know, there were some unbelievable performances out there. I thought. The subs come on done really well, but I, it'd be a miss of me not to mention 90. I thought literally on the heaviest pitch in the world after playing, you know, a big game only a few days ago to cover that amount of grass is something else. And he's winning the ball late on to, you know, take us over the finishing line. But it was a team effort, a squad effort, you know. Um, so, yeah, really pleased. And as you mentioned earlier on, to score those two goals in front of your fans, you keep the unbeaten run going that energy and connectivity that you've got with the supporters, it's just one of those great nights and you talked a couple of times about making memories and I think that'll be one that lives long in the memory. Yeah, I hope so. I, I appreciate everyone who's travelled. Um, I mean, luckily I had Curtis out there to do the bounce. That got me right out of the clunk. I don't really feel like that's me. I feel a bit stiff for that. I don't, something might break. Um, but yeah, you know, to score two goals late on, it always feels even bigger than a win, if that makes sense. But the lads can take confidence because they're not going to have everything their own way between now and May. They're going to go behind in games, but as long as they know they've got the character and they keep trying to do the right things, they have a chance. And, you know, I said to the lads tonight, you know, if you play at your absolute best, it's, you have a very difficult team to stop. And, you know, we played well in parts at times. We didn't probably hold the ball up. We had to change the, the system because... It wasn't a game where much was going through the middle, so obviously we went 4-4-2 and Colo came on, was an absolute handful as well. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased. And to score two goals at the end where your fans are is, is something else. So um, pleased for everyone who made the effort to come and support this great club. We move on to next Monday now. West Ham yeah. Premier League team at Pride Park in the FA Cup. Uh, yeah. Another occasion to, to relish, look forward to and, and go again. Yeah, well I'll give the lads three days off so they can... Uh, um, uh, rest up and then yeah have two days prep for it as best we can <coughs> excuse me and then uh, enjoy the night for what it is you know if we win and we go through great and if we perform at our best and we don't go through then you know that's how football is but it should be a night to to remember so it's, a, it's a real privilege for the lads to be on the pitch of some of their uh, superstars and we'll see what team they pick 
I'm hoping he's going to pick a really weak one, but um, we'll wait for it for Monday night. And like I said, there's no massive pressure on us. Every game we play in League One, there's massive pressure on us, but there isn't. So the lads can enjoy it for what it is and hopefully perform at a level that will help us go through.